hi guys here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note which is on its default firmware version that is Android 2.3.6 build DD LB2 as you can see here under the settings and we have already rooted this device using the tutorial which we have published on our blog that's android.devices.com for verifying let us just check out the root access and here we get a message which says congratulations you have verified the root access and the device has root access so once you are done with this you need to switch off the device but before that you need to go to the settings under applications development and ensure that you have enabled the USB debugging mode because this is very important when you are going to going to update your firmware anytime next power off the device And then you need to get the device into the recovery mode before you need you can install the Cyanogen Mod 9. So once the device is switched off completely, like when you ensure that these lights are completely off, you need to long press the power volume up button, home key and the power on key. So let me do that. So as you can see here, you would get a message which says CW based recovery. Here you need to use the volume rocker button to select the options listed. Wherein you need to select the second option that is apply update from HD card. Once you are ok with that, press on the home key for selection. Next it will ask you to select. the right file here under this you need to select the option which says install zip for SD card tap on this and then you would get a next screen where it would ask you to choose zip from SD card let us first choose the file Here you would get a file which says update cm9 nightly build, select the same and then select yes install the update. That's it, the update would begin as you can see on the screen installing from the package finding update package opening update package installing the update. Now it will take a few minutes for this to complete so let us just wait for the same. As you can see the installation has been partially completed it says install from SD card complete now you need to again choose file from SD card and this time select the second file which was GAPPS ICS select that file and then say yes install it would begin installing of installation of these files followed by copying the data to your phone you need to ensure that under the recovery mode you need to select the wipe data and recovery reset, factory reset option and then select the option which says yes delete all user data tap on yes again and then it would wipe the data formatting the slash data directory and then you are ready to go with a reboot of your phone
and here you would get the Cyanogen mod 9 logo and then after a few seconds you would get the welcome screen wherein you are ready to begin the installation of the phone and it would ask you to go through a few settings here let me just skip these options as of now the haptic feedback is on which is the reason you can hear some vibrations so here we are on the home screen of the Cyanogen Mod 9 installed on the Samsung Galaxy Note you can see this is the ice cream sandwich interface let us go to the about phone option and check out the Android version which is 4.0.4 .4. let me just zoom into this apart from that it's the version 9 nightly build and the build number is listed here so overall we have successfully installed the Cyanogen Mod 9 onto the Samsung Galaxy Note for more details you can go through our blog that is androidadvices.com Do make a note that you would get a few sub, uh, separate options when you install this mo uh, firmware and let us just check out a few options if they work or not which generally have issues in the other devices so let us just check if the camera is working or not And as you can see, the camera is perfectly working. And these are different home screen panes. So overall, this is a pretty stable version of the ice cream sandwich installed using the Cyanogen Mod 9 version. Thanks for watching, do subscribe to our channel for more related videos.